Hey everyone, so today I have my Friday favorites and fails, the products that I've been kind of like really using and really exploring and trying to see the pros and cons about it for the past two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I have one, two, three, four favorites and one fail. So the first product I'm going to share with you guys is my Josie Maron 100% Pure Argon Oil. This isn't the light one. Um, I want to try the light one after this one is done, which, look at, I don't know if you'll be able to see how much you can hear singing. Um, I probably have about five more uses and this is gone. What I do is I use this at night because it does take a long time for it to soak in your skin. Um, I really enjoy it. It hasn't broken me out. really hydrates my skin, especially now since it's getting a lot cooler and the heater's on in the house a lot more. My skin's acting a little bit more dehydrated. So this has been just so great. I've been starting to put it on during the morning too if I'm not wearing any makeup that day. Just so my face is extra moisturized the entire day. So love this. The next up would be my Urban Decay by Skindinavia All Nighter um, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I got this a while ago because um, it's the old packaging and they were selling it on the site for like 50% off then I had another 20% off coupon that I used so I got this for almost nothing um, well like $10 and it's like one more use and it's going into my empties um, I really enjoy it. it does help my makeup stay on longer I am kind of curious about the Scandinavia one because uh, Lisa SZ09 one of my friends here on YouTube who I will link below you need help with reviews and knowing about products you need to go to her videos because she has over 800 of them and she's just amazing with how accurate she is with everything that she talks about love her reviews going on she loves the bridal setting spray from Scandinavia so I'm kind of tempted to put it on my Christmas list um, and see if I get it so I might try that next and not do a setting spray for a month or so two months next would be my makeup -y beauty blender um, it's still wet just got back from dropping my husband off at work and I wanted to do this video and then go ahead and edit it at nap time because I have a lot to do around the house today so I wanted to get this up now um, so no time to clean I love this I almost returned this and it was because it does not have the same application as a brush. It doesn't go on as fast. You kind of have to like sit there and like get it into your skin. Um, so that was just a user, not user error, but I had to get used to it. And it doesn't have the same like, why can I think of like makeup words today? Makeup terms. Um, it's not as, I don't want to say thick maybe opaque. It, it shears out, there we go, it shears out the foundations that I'm using, which I'm not used to because I like a full coverage foundation. So I kind of had to work with it a little bit more, but now I love it. Now I know why everybody talks about it. I don't think I'll try any dupes because everyone's that I've seen always goes back to this and I don't like wasting money because it's $20 on the sponge and I don't want to buy like five other sponges that I hate. I might as well just get this one but I'll probably get the two pack next time because it's only $24 instead of $20 for one but my Sephora only had this one and I just wanted to try it so it was a grab and go kind of thing. So I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. If you were thinking about it, coming from a pure brush girl who hasn't touched her, like my phone foundation brushes are now in the cup that is my barely used cup which is crazy. I love it. I'm going to continue using this and I'm telling my whole family about it. Um, my last favorite, I need to take the cap off because it's janky, is my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation. And as you can see, oh, like the pump doesn't work anymore, which is really weird. That's a fail for me. Like I can't get it to work. But it's like right at the bottom. Like I, How I do is I put it in there and I just pull it down on my face a little bit. Why does my blush look so harsh right there? It is not like that in person, I promise. I don't know. It's not like that in person, I promise. So that's the only thing I don't like about this. I don't know if this happened to other people, but the coverage is great. The lasting power is great. Now that I'm doing with the sponge, I'm able to use it every single day. I wasn't able to use it before with like a brush. I had to really baby my skin and sometimes it pulled away from my nose. So I had to use a different foundation for my nose and chin area. And I was getting kind of like, ugh, well, whatever. At least the rest of my face looks good. I'll just bring um, something with to touch up. Did I not put it in all the way? The cap's not going on that. Okay, now it is. Um, I really love it now. I would buy this over and over again. And if you're wondering, I'm in the shade Ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade that they carry. 
Um, now my fail, I don't have. I actually returned it. I talked about it in my haul video. I tried the Urban Decay Skin Naked Skin, I believe it's what it's called. And because I love full coverage foundation and I think it looks so gorgeous on Sam Sherman. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go get it. Maybe it's like that step up from this that I want, that it applies easier, that it stays a lot stronger and stuff like that. Stays a lot stronger, stays a lot longer, especially on this area. And it was a dud for me. Um, it kind of had the same coverage as this, but it pulled away like on my cheeks, which barely ever happens. On my nose, on my chin, so I tried it again with a different brush. Didn't really work. I tried it with my beauty blender. Didn't like it. It just, it wasn't working for my skin. I know I have dry skin. I was babying it. Like I was babying it with my cover girl and it just wasn't working for me, so I returned it. Um, so yeah, that is all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in a few days with my next video. Bye, everyone.